Downtown Auburn is as busy as ever this week with the DeKalb County Fall Fair in full swing. COVID-19 forced the event's cancellation last year. Fox 55's Drew Fry is live in the studio tonight to explain how this year's Fall Fair is bouncing back. Yeah, Chris, people call this fair America's Family Reunion. And Auburn Mayor Michael Lay says that title could not be more fitting, as he actually has family coming in from Florida tonight. I walked around downtown Auburn earlier today with Mayor Lay, who says he's proud of how this festival showcases his city's tradition. Why bake approximately 350,000 donuts in the span of a week? For the same reason much of downtown Auburn is blocked off to traffic. The DeKalb County Free Fall Fair is back. Yeah, our community's excited, the people are here. I mean, you just look for yourself and you see lots of smiles and it's been extremely busy the first three nights of this fair. Auburn Mayor Michael Lay says the community was upset last year over the fair's cancellation. But now, on its 90th anniversary, people are back and as excited as ever. I'm telling you, people are just hungry. Not, not just for food, but they're just hungry to get out and interact with other people and be together and do something fun and social. And we have heard just nothing but great things from everyone about how pleased they are. The fair's reputation is bringing in new guests as well. That includes Patrick Lothamer and his friends, who are among the dozens to line up early for carnival tickets. I've heard really good things about it. Like, I've heard it's the best fair in the area of Indiana. And though he recommends getting in line earlier next time. It's been fun, energetic, people like are in a good mood, it's, it's good vibes. That energy is a large reason so many businesses and nonprofits return. Lay says more than 40 nonprofits are at this year's event, and a couple vendors have been a part of the fair for over 60 years. It kind of pumps the economy a little bit with people coming to town, spending money, enjoying themselves, so it's a good thing for business and family. And Lay says after an exciting first few days, the best is still yet to come. And still to come at the fall fair, the state is providing COVID-19 vaccination shots starting tomorrow. Tomorrow is also Kids Day, where DeKalb County schools will be closed so kids can't attend the fair. And a parade will kick off the last day on Saturday.